Next up, we have Mitch uh, Pro, who uh, specializes in digital demand generation. Mitch has been in the marketing industry for more than two decades. He has worked on campaigns across industries, including software, professional services, and e-commerce, executing campaigns that have helped drive leads in excess of 20 million in potential revenue. And uh, Mitch is gonna be talking about how to uh, create demand and stop chasing business. Thanks, Paul. Hi, everyone, welcome. So six minutes, this is crazy. It's the first time I can press stuff like this. So what I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today is creating a demand versus actually going out and trying to push sales. So one of the most common things that I see every single day, and I'm sure that you see this also, is that people are putting zero consideration to how they're selling the product. And so they're creating content just for the sake of creating content and they're putting out videos for the same reason. They're hosting webinars just to teach and educate and teach, teach, teach all the time. So they never take into consideration how to use influence, persuasion, and actually create demand. So the problem you might be experiencing this right now is you don't actually create demand for a product. You're posting, you're getting out there, you don't create a demand for what you're teaching. So people are left a little bit confused. And so what I want you to do is I want to ask you two questions and I want you to think about these two questions. Now you can send them to me, you can close your eyes, you can just like take them in. But the first question is how many of you know how you're going to sell your products or services? And this is really important. So you need to know how you're gonna sell your products and services. And you can do that. Now the how you're gonna sell the products and services, we're talking about where you're gonna put your ask, where you're gonna put your call to action and try to get that sale. And so if you have that in mind, there's video, there's webinars, and so the whole point of what I'm trying to get at here is when you're hosting a webinar is that you're going to have an ask. So if you know how you're going to sell your products and services and you have that in mind, awesome. Number two question I want to ask you is how are you going to build your audience? Or do you have a way now that you're currently building your audience? And you can do that the very same way. You can do that through webinars and videos. You can do that at uh, e-conferences like this one. Um, this is where you're actually going to create engagement. And so you're going to create followers and raving fans. Um, so just to recap, you now know how you're going to sell your product and you know how you're going to build your audience. So you probably know people are using the exact same tactics. Say uh, you choose webinars in order to sell your products. You're going to host a webinar. You're going to have an ask at the end and you're using video to drive uh, engagement and traffic to that webinar. Same tactics you're using, another company is using. Now, why are they getting better results than you are? And think about this for just a second. You're using the exact same tactics as the company that you're looking at. They're, do, they're in the same industry. Uh, they're doing pretty much everything that you're doing, but they're getting massive, massive, massive results. And so I think we could all agree that tactics is not the way to sell a product. The best way to sell a product is by messaging, influence, and persuasion. So essentially, it's communication. So you're thinking to yourself like, mom, my stuff is so good. Uh, I'm putting this stuff out there. I'm better than them. Uh, who knows what you're thinking, but you're just looking at it going like, I could do that. I mean, like my stuff is, is superior to it. It's because you don't, you're not communicating your product effectively. So what's going to happen to your business? If you keep doing the same thing without fixing the core problem, what's going to happen to your business? You know everything that you need to know to be exactly where you are right now, right? And so this is what I do in my company is we can create solutions. But first, I, I, I want to ask, are you really committed to that next level? Because that's where we're at right now. Whether you're going to pivot today or you're going to change your business model entirely, whatever you're going to do, you got to create demand. When you create demand, you'll never do any selling for the rest of your life. So guys, my name is Mitch. You can find me at inyourface.com. You can see it below my video. I actually, instead of a name, uh, I put my URL. So go there. If you feel so inclined to put your name and email, um, I'll send you some documentation and book a time. Let's have a chat.
because that's all the time we have right now is just to have chats and I love it and I love exploring companies and I love seeing where we can produce better results and create that demand in your company. My social media handles are all Mitch Crew. So you can find me on Twitter, on Instagram, everywhere, just at Mitch Crew. Thanks so much, guys.